Alright everyone, chapter 12 of the Jojo Lands is here, and we start a bit differently compared to our recent few chapters, with some backstory to our newest main character that we got to see a lot of in the last chapter, which I sadly couldn't review. We learned that he has, or maybe had, a little brother who disappeared after an area that is usually dry had a bunch of water, and it looks like Mauka, the name of his little brother, got sucked up in some hole. This this is quite the interesting introduction to the chapter. The past few chapters have all picked up right where we left off, so it's cool to see us getting some backstory to a character right now, especially when it looks to be our new team member. And this is where the time skip happened. Last chapter ended with Paco saying that he could be our ally, and it seems that they stopped fighting and started talking in a time skip of like 10 minutes probably, since they seem to be indoors or at least in a place where they're sitting down. It was in this very scene that we got the name of this man. But honestly, saying that man isn't that far off from his actual name, which is Charming Man. <laughs> yes, his name is Charming Man. It's quite the strange name, and I have seen a lot of people complain about his name being too weird. But in my opinion, it's not the worst thing ever, especially not the worst thing Araki has called a character. We literally have a character called Weather Report and Sandman, so Charming Man isn't the worst thing that could have happened. But I understand the hate, like it's definitely the worst name out of the entire gang. I'd say it's worse than Jodeo, but I've honestly never found Jodeo to be that bad of a name to begin with. And what's strange about his name is that his brother has a completely normal name. You're telling me their parents named their children? children Charming Man and then Mauka. I feel like Charming Man could be a code name of sorts, which might add to the idea that this character could be a spy for the main villain, or maybe this guy is just really wacky. We'll find out soon. Two chapters ago, we got some information that led people to believe that Charming Man was a rock human. When Paco felt the skin of Charming Man during their fight, he said that his neck felt coarse like sand. But sadly, it seems like 16.1% of my audience subscribed to my channel picked up on how he explained that he just has a physical disposition and that is what causes his skin to feel coarse. It could debunk the main theory going on that this character is a rock human, but it's also possible that this guy was lying and just saying that as an excuse to get away with being a rock human. I mean, he was literally talking to a police officer in that scene, so having an excuse for the rough skin would be the best course of action. But with the character having a little brother, the idea of this character being a rock human has dragged drastically changed compared to last chapter's analysis of Charming Man. But enough of this Charming Man, because we saw another fabulous character returning this chapter, and that is Meryl Meiji. She has returned, or I guess the main characters have returned to her to deliver the diamond, and we got some really cool stuff with her in this chapter. My favorite part here was when Meryl Meiji was able to instantly tell that the gang was hiding something, which led our gang turning into a stuttering mess. It really tells you how much the other main characters are scared of Meryl, that even her suspecting them of hiding something has them in a frenzy. And I mean, they're completely right on acting like that, because like the threats that Merle was giving was kind of crazy. And it seems like she's gonna stick around for the next chapter as well, which will be pretty exciting. With Charming Man's backstory being revealed, I think it's clear what path Jojo Lance is going to be taking theme-wise, that being siblinghood. With part 7 dealing with fatherhood and part 8 dealing with motherhood, it'll make sense for Araki to move on to siblings in part 9. We already have the obvious with Jodeo and Dragona, but now we have Charming Man's backstory. We see that he also has a sibling who is very important to him. This could potentially hint at Charming Man staying in the cast and being more important than we initially presumed. Hopefully Paco and Usagi get something like this in the future. It doesn't even have to be blood related siblings, but just something sibling related to fit with the park's themes. Or it's possible for Charming Man to take over the spotlight. So let's rejoice. We have a fifth main character who is probably here to stay. Hopefully we have a lot of fun moments with Charming Man, similar to this fun moment with Jodeo a few chapters ago. Watch this video to find out exactly what I'm referring to here.